a bruce from safari and look we're looking here at an ocker and it's rebuilt by david kingston we're going to step through our integrated display let's go and have a look. i'm now inside the the front of the ocker here look uh, i'm doing this in the dark so that we can actually see the screen so what we're looking at here is this is a Garmin uh, VO. And if I just take off this front display for a minute, there it is. I just snap that off. It's just a magnetic snap that goes into the base here. And there it is there. This uh, It's like a tablet. And, and watch this. I just put that back on. And that will then just pop straight up there. And uh, for people that aren't familiar with what this unit does, it's got uh, four lots of functions in it. Um, and one is just simple uh, navigation, and there you are, you can see where we are, ship a drive, waterway drive, and let's go back from that, and then we've got where to go to, and uh, what I like about this is let's go into the HEMA maps here, and let's go down to uh, campsites, accommodation, camping grounds, and there we are, we've got uh, oh, north, uh, we've got south uh, Stradbroke Island camping grounds there popping up on the screen, so on the HEMA maps here, we can just go to uh, any of the ones that we want to. Uh, and then the, if you want to do some bush camping, select bush camping, and then a whole lot of areas come up on that. Um, and we even have in here, there's farm stay, uh, uh, homestead, uh, camping grounds, caravan parks. And what we put into this is the length of the vehicle and it tells you exactly what will fit. Um, into uh, which campgrounds and which areas we'll go into. Then it's got the usual trip advisor there, all campgrounds. You can even see dump stations in here. It's just absolutely fantastic. So let's go out of that. So that's where to go to. Then we've got the Fusion Sound. So uh, most of you are familiar with uh, Fusion's the premier brand in, uh, in uh, marine and RVs, and it's owned by Garmin. So we've got the full Fusion here, you've got the Fusion smartphone app, you've got the whole sound system running here. So you've got radio, you can stream your music, and you've got four channels out of here. So what David's gonna do is two channels inside the cab here, two channels in the camper on the back. So he will then have the sound um, uh, both ways. Now we go back to the front. Um, and then the, so that's those three. And then the fourth one we're gonna touch here is the RV controls. And hey presto, that's our new display. And what we're showing on this is he has a Scotty that we're mounting up into the front that you can see over there. So we're going to see how much power we get out of Scotty. We're going to see the alternator, the temperature of the alternator, and I'm going to have the overall efficiency coming out of it into this display. We're going to give him pitch and roll here uh, coming into this display. And then out of the solar here, he's got solar going on the top of this with the panels, and we've got a solar radiation sensor, a small one coming in here to give us our overall solar efficiency. That's going into 48 volt batteries and uh, we've got them in the back there. Uh, we've got one just mocked up in the front here so you can see what it looks like. Um, and then we've got the inverter. We've got the 6000 inverter in the back here. So that goes to the inverter. And these switches down here, which are not functional at the moment, but these are slide switches. And uh, as you move that up and down, that's gonna change the intensity of the light dims. So these are dimming switches. We've got water pumps. When we touch the plus button here, this will blow out to uh, up to 20. We can go 20, 40, any number of switches here. And then um, the other feature that we've got here is the starter battery voltage up here. We've got three tanks on board or two. The LPG is for a barbecue outside. And then we've got temperatures here on the fridge and the freezer. And they're not 110, by the way. That's just the max on the scale. Now we are putting on here a water quality sensor and that's gonna measure the dissolved oxygen in the, in the tank. So it'll tell you how fresh and the quality of the water. So we're measuring that and that's the AC out, out of the inverter that we've got down here and that's the AC control. So this switch here, this page here will also expand as we go to various things. And now what I'm gonna show you is when this screen comes off in the back of the camper, uh, we have one of these. So this is the uh, clip-in, if you wish. You can see what it's like. That takes one camera input into the back, powered up, and the screen just clips onto that in the back of the camper. So he takes it out of the vehicle, clips it into the back of the camper there, and away he goes. Now, his bed is elevated. It's up in the top. You've got, he's got uh, the uh, bed lift on it. So the screen then will come out of the camper and go up into the bed. So at night, he can turn any of the lights on see exactly what's going on, turn things on and off, play his music, do whatever he wants in there um, from the bed. It's sort of basically like ideal. 
Uh, now, the good bit electrically is this is the switch module. That's the digital switch module. That's doing 20 outputs of switching, no fuses. So this module here is MOSFET control. It's digital. I mean, it, uh, and, and it just, uh, if there's an overload in the circuit, it just uh, uh, opens. It just opens circuit, just like Scotty does. It just stops. So this is all t digital, um, all MOSFET control. Just two main power leads going in. I like the way these are protected here. That will be on one of our boards. That connects into here and uh, very, very straightforward. And then we can have some backup switches if we wish. And the backup switches uh, can come in here or alternatively on the top here, these, these forward and back arrows here allow you to manually operate any switch. So in the event that you drop that into the fire and lose it, don't despair. You can still do it on your smartphone and you can still actually go to the switch. So you need access to this, push this on and turn whatever output you want to turn on. So we've got the display here. You can have uh, two of those if you wish. Uh, we've got the holder that's in the camper up in the rooftop tent. We've got the smartphone app. And then finally, you've got the backup switching. And we've integrated into this um, all the Garmin features. We've integrated in the digital switching. We brought in the all the Victron coming in here. And then we brought some non-Victron. So we brought the inclimiter in. We've got the water quality in, the uh, solar radiation sensor coming in. And we're bringing those in so that we know what the time to go is. And that's the critical thing. This is replenishment energy on this side. And this is uh, uh, power usage. And the inverted charger here, the AC mode of the power going in that you can see here is a non-replenishment energy. That's in the case you plug into a gum tree, which is rarely. So we're trying to run this whole ocker for its whole trip around Australia off the Scotty and off the solar. And uh, then all he needs then is fresh, good quality water. And I've got to say, how good's that, guys?